Hey man, I hope you're doing wonderful as always. Now let's talk. Why do good people always so seemingly get screwed? First of all, why am I giving this talk? Well, growing up, and even still now, my own, my own dad has made many a comments like, you know, I'm a good person and I feel like I always get screwed. And honestly, looking at a lot of areas in his life where he did get screwed, I can understand why he makes those comments, right? It's not, it's not being negative, it's being realistic. But at first, you know, when I was younger and I didn't really understand much, I always thought to myself like, man, why, why has he got to be so negative about it? Like, why has he got to be so negative? But keep in mind, he's always, he's always said how grateful he is for all the good things he's had in life too, right? So again, this is not him being negative because he's always said how grateful he is for all the good things that he has in life. But as I get older and as I look more at the world around me, I actually understand my dad more. But I also, as I grew older and I started to understand him more and where he's coming from, I used to kind of think to myself, is it really just him? Like, is it just him that's really getting screwed? Like, so many times? And, you know, at first I, I thought it kind of thought it was, but again, as I keep getting older, I see now what exactly what he means by these comments. I'm a good person and I always get screwed. It's not just him. It's not just you. If you think that you're that you get screwed a lot in life and you're a good person, I can promise you that it's not just you. And I'm going to tell you why, right? Because we live in a world full of evil. That's how it works, man. That's why God's always telling us to be good and to be loving, to even love our enemies, to love those who do bad and wrong. God doesn't say to love their actions. He doesn't say to love people who, like, to love the bad actions that people do, but he says to love people, right? And so, in this world that is full of evil, and that each and every day, as, we, as this world gets farther from God, because the more that time goes on, it's pretty obvious the farther from God that we get. And it's sad, and it sucks, and I hate to see that, and I hate to even say it, but it's true. The more that time goes on, the farther from God the world gets. And what happens when we get farther from the source of good? We get closer to the source of evil, which in turn has an effect on the world. As the world gets closer to the source of evil, it has an effect on the world, and that is simply becoming more evil, right? People start to think that ideas that, you know, were that if you were to think of certain ideas 100 years ago, like people would beat you and they would shame you and they they would they would punish you and torture you but now those ideas that were so crazy back then are acceptable now i don't want to get too deep into this kind of talk um or talk too deep you probably have ideas of what i'm talking about um i don't i don't need i don't need to get like demonetized before i'm even monetized i mean come on <laughs> or i don't need to get this video taken down or anything but the, you, you probably have some ideas of what I'm talking about, right? And even when we look at examples like, like prisoners getting these small, weak sentences when they deserve life in prison. When we see people that are supporting prisoners that have done absolute crap and wrong, and people, just, people support these people who do absolutely wrong in life, for whatever reason it may be, you know, you got the supporters of certain people that do wrong. And then you see like certain people letting prisoners out of jail early and stuff like that. And all this absolute BS, bro. Like this morning, I was literally watching a video of Jadeon reacting to um, this police officer that was caught as a predator, right? And he had some really bad interactions with underage people um many of them and not just phone to phone interactions either like i said i'm not going to get too deep into it but you know what i'm talking about and it's disgusting oh it's so bad and at the end of the video you know you know what they said this officer you know for his crimes has been given a 10 to 12 year sentence my mind was blown dude I'm, even at the end of the video, Jadeon, like, freaked out, too. Like, <laughs> I mean, I'm just watching his video. He's freaking out. I'm freaking out. Like, I'm sitting there, like, 10 to 12 years? That's it? 
that's it. This guy scarred multiple, multiple children. And he gets a measly 10 to 12 years. But you got you got other people that do yeah, they other people still do bad, but they do less worse than that. And they get life in prison. Or you get these people that just get out of prison early and, and you, you have all these criminals and robbers that are roaming free in the streets of cities and, and you have all these, you know, bad people that that don't get jail sentences and they, they get they get these you know, they get lousy warnings. Like, oh, just like, just don't rob that store again. <laughs> what? Don't rob the store again. You know what they're probably going to do? You know what most of them end up doing? They end up robbing another store. <laughs> uh, come on, dude. Come on. It, it's so embarrassing. It, it's so, it's so disgusting to see how evil the world has become. To see certain ideas, certain, yes, crimes, but certain just morally wrong things that people do and they act like it's completely normal. And it's not just like one or two people, it's whole groups of people, bro. Thousands of people, tens of thousands of people. I mean, like, <laughs> when I when I, when my family turns on the news and hear that someone got unalived, like in the city, it's not even a surprise to us anymore. Yeah, it's terrible, it's sad. I mean, it, it's so sad to see those things, but it's not like a shock. It's, it's, it's like a normal thing, dude. Like, that should not be normal. None of this evil stuff around the world should be normal. And I'm not saying that everyone has to be all perfect and sunshine and rainbows and life has to be perfect. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is that it seems like people who do wrong get barely any punishment. And people that do good, they get laughed at, they get shamed, they get made fun of, pushed around, um, told that they're weak, stupid, dumb. Uh, like... <laughs> Like, what the frick? It, it's so mind-blowing. And you know what? You, you you don't even see this just like... Like, you see this in every part. Like, every... It seems like so many things have just become like a... Ba a um A battle of good versus evil. Whether it's wars between countries. Whether it's politics. Whether it's arguments between people. Like... I mean... Things have just become like a... Battle of good versus evil. And look, man... Good versus evil, it's always been that way. It's always going to be that way because I truly believe that we live between heaven and hell, which is why, you know, this, this life is like a test to us, right? To make sure that we do good and do as good as we possibly can. And when we go meet Jesus face to face, he judges us whether we're going to hell or whether we're going to heaven. I truly believe that like our life is a line between heaven and hell. And that's why you see good and you see evil like in this world. But man, dude, it's absolutely crazy how people who are just bad and do wrong and do evil things they just get off the hook so easily and then you got groups of people that make excuses oh you know they, they were just you know, you know this excuse and that excuse for their actions and, and it's like there's no excuse for their actions bro all of all of us know right from wrong for the most part you know like like it's just, I don't know, I can't even find the words anymore, dude. Because, like I said, as I grow up and I see the world around me, I realize that it's not like my dad gets screwed for everything, right? It's not like, it's not like people that are good, like that I know get screwed. It's good people get screwed because we live in an evil world. People who are evil, for the most part, they get like let off the hook or they get little warnings or, hey, don't do that again. Okay, don't do that again. Or they don't get a they don't get a really big punishment for their absolutely evil crimes and wrongdoings and actions. And in fact, there's a lot of people that support people that do evil. There are groups of people that support people that do wrong and that do bad. And it's just normal. It's just normal. Like, like it, it, it's like, it doesn't even matter. It's like, okay, you see like all these groups supporting this person who's doing wrong and bad and evil. And it's just like, oh, okay, just, just another day on earth. Like, what? What? But then you try being a good person, right? You try doing the right thing and being a good person and people will find a way to screw you over. Whether it might not even just be laughing at you. It might be like trying to steal from you, take your money, um, like uh, hurt your family. Uh, I mean, you, you, you think of it. Like, it's just kind of, it's just mind blowing when you have a lot of the world that takes the side of evil and does evil and praises people for their evil 
actions and thoughts and wrongdoings. And then you got the smaller side, which is the side of good people who do good, who do the right thing. Yeah, they screw up here and there. Yeah, they make mistakes. Yeah, you know, but for the most part, they just want to do good. They want to do as best as they can and do the right thing. And yet you got more people around the world that make fun of them, laugh at them, put them to shame, tell them to go, you know, harm themselves and um, screw them and try to screw you over, right? But remember, bro, no matter how many people laugh at you or how many people tell you to go screw off or screw yourself or tell you F you, um, no matter how many people try to screw you over in this life, as long as you are doing good and you're doing the right thing, and how do you know if you are? It's simply abiding by the word of God, right? Because God is the source of good. He is the one and only good, right? He is the source of good. And as long as you're abiding by his word and doing what he's telling you to do, then you're doing the right thing. But remember, no matter how many people around this world make fun of you and try to shame you and put you down and beat you to your knees and do whatever, try to screw you over, take your money, um, take your confidence, take your sanity, no matter what people try to do to screw you over, keep doing good, keep being good, and keep standing up for good. Stand up for what's right. Do what's right. Do not let the pressure of all the evil people around the world drag you into their little stupid games of bad and evil and wrongdoing. Because in the end, like, what good is it for a man to gain the world yet lose his soul or his spirit along the way? In other words, would you rather have would you rather have more people in this world on your side, right? But to have these people on your side, you have to do the kind of evil that they're doing, right? Because more of the world is evil than good. And yet you lose your spirit along the way. You lose your soul along the way. You just become an evil person who in the end will end up in a place that you don't want to be. Or would you rather not have the approval of many people, but yet you have God's approval, you have your spirit, your soul, and you'll end up in a good place? What, what would you rather do? Does the attention and approval of the world really matter that much? It better not, bro. Because if that's the case, you're going to end up in a place you don't want to be. The point is, the reason us good people so seemingly get screwed all the time is because we live in a world of evil. And look, this is not me saying that everyone around the world is evil, right? And that, the, and that earth is evil and that, that the trees are evil and the animals are evil. This is not me saying that, right? I, I'm just simply saying that a lot of the world is evil. I would even go as far as to say more of the world is evil than good. But a lot of the world is evil. And so if us good people so seemingly get screwed... It's just because we live in a world surrounded by a lot of evil. But don't forget that there are good people out there. And if you find those people and you build up an army of good men who stand up for what's right, fight for what's right, do what's right, love your enemies, love those who do wrong to you, love those who persecute you, then I'm pretty sure you'll get God's approval at the end of the day. And honestly, that's all that really matters, right? It is. I believe so, at least. And on top of that, you'll live a much greater life where you can actually be at peace, even with the wars going on around you, even with the people laughing in your face, you could actually be at peace because you just know that even though everyone's laughing at you and shaming you, it doesn't matter because what does matter is that you do good and that you be the best person that you can be. That's what truly matters. And so, like I said, us good people so seemingly get screwed all the time because we live in a world surrounded by evil and evil is always going to try to find a way to screw over good, right? But just because they may win the battle doesn't mean that we're not going to win the war, right? Good always wins in the end. I mean, heck, watch any, watch any action movie, dude. Give me one action movie where evil actually won. If that's the case, then man, it must have been the writer trying to write like some kind of weird plot twist or have like a sequel to the movie or something like that. But you watch any action movie, any movies in general, like the good always win. And that's just how it goes, right? And so just because bad people in the world try to screw you over and laugh at you and make fun of you and beat you down, just like they did with Jesus, just like they beat Jesus to where he was unrecognizable, they laughed at him, spit on him, put a crown of thorns on his head, crucified him. You know what Jesus did at the end of the day? He prayed for them, dude. He just, you know, he said, God, forgive them. They don't understand right and 
Jesus, while we should not try to be Jesus, we should try to be more like Jesus because Jesus was the example for us. And so at the end of the day, dude, if you're getting screwed by bad people, it's easy to get angry. There's been many a times where I get angry and heck, while I'm working on it, it's definitely hard and frustrating and it's definitely hard to watch all these good people just get away with, or I'm sorry, it's hard to watch all these bad people get away with the bad that they do. In the end, it's just best if we can just find some way to pray for them and love them in some way. Again, don't love the bad that they do. Don't sit there and support the bad and evil that they do, but just love them as a person, right? And pray for them that they can find the good way, right? And keep doing good, keep being the good person you are, because if there's one other thing that you should know, it's that no matter how many times you may get screwed over by evil, if you keep doing good and working hard and doing what you're supposed to, what you're supposed to be doing every single day, following God, taking God's hand, um, and letting him lead you, just doing good and being a good person, 100%, it's going to pay off in the end. You're going to get rewarded for it. And it's just going to be a much better life for you. Don't just be good because you'll get rewarded for it at the end of the day, but just be good because it's the right thing to do, right? Be good. If not, if not for yourself, then do it for God. Like, that's what it comes down to. But at the end of the day, whatever you put out in this world, you will get in return. So if you put some good out in this world, man, eventually, even if it takes many years, eventually you'll get something good in return. On top of that, you'll live a better, healthier life. You'll be a good example for others, right? Especially others that are being persuaded by evil to come join their side, but they want to do good. Like you could be an example for those people and be like, hey, join the side of good, man. In the end, it pays off, right? Because a lot of people are so afraid to stand up for good, you know, whether because they're afraid of getting laughed at, they're afraid of getting canceled, they're afraid of getting pushed around. So a lot of people just take the side of bad because they're afraid to stand up for good, right? Don't be afraid, man. Bible says, do not be afraid. I think it says it 365 times, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. I saw that fact somewhere. So again, if I'm not mistaken, but it does say it a lot in there, bottom line, do not be afraid, right? So do not be afraid, stand up for good, fight against evil, and do what you can to love your enemies, love those who persecute you. Um, pray for those who um, are not on your side, right? But also stand up for good and stand up against evil and just be the best person you could be. Let God lead your life. Do good. If not for yourself, do it for God. And at the end of the day, it's just the greatest path you'll take. And so for those of you that are getting screwed over a lot, even though you try to be a good person and the best person you could be, just know that if you just spend your entire life just doing as good as you can, being as good as you can, like I said, we're all going to make mistakes. We're all going to sin. So repent of those sins, come back from those mistakes, right? We're human after all, but just being as good as you can and doing as good as you can and standing up for good, that in the end, it's going to pay off. It's going to make your life better. You're going to get rewarded for it. Um, I'm fairly certain you'll get God's approval for it. Um, and that, you know, there still is some good out in this world. And so don't be afraid to stand up for it. Um, and just build an army of good men and women who will stand up for good with you, right? So if you're getting screwed by bad people, just know that you will get rewarded by good people someday but just take the screw overs that you get you know let let the let let the punches hit you right let the punches beat you down and then get back up and keep fighting for good um just like jesus right he kept getting beaten and beaten and beaten but yeah he kept getting back up until he completed the mission that he had to complete and that's just how it goes that's how it goes man so keep doing good keep being good keep thinking good keep spreading good keep spreading love just do good and love that's the bottom line of this whole thing right um so yeah that's it and just know that you're not alone in all this and if you're afraid to stand up for good just know that yeah it's scary but you don't have to let that fear win you just have to simply do what's right all right anyway i'm done rambling i've been rambling enough don't forget to work hard and have faith every day no matter what and always take care of yourself nothing but love to you bro